All-star break, you have been explosive. What is motivating you? Um, my family, my family, um, my baby. So, yeah. You're the best, Jalen. Thank you. What's going on, guys? Jada Black here. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Jalen Green. Jalen Green is going viral due to a post-game interview where he spoke about how, you know, he's playing for his baby and his family and basically confirming himself that he's having a child, his first child at 22 years of age, and he's having it by Drea Michelle, a woman who's 39 years old. And by the time she has that baby, she's, she may be turning 40. It will be right at 40. Um, and he's 22. And I believe they started dealing with each other when he was 21. No telling any other time before that, you know, because she was in a relationship with Tyrod Taylor. And he's going viral. And this clip has got, man, they was going in on, on uh, X last night. Now, I just want to say this. I have nothing against him choosing to date someone as long as, you know, two consenting adults are dealing with each other. I have no problem, but... When you are a pro athlete, you are a brand, you're making millions of dollars. You have to make smart decisions because if you don't, you can pay for it. Now, if this relationship that I'm assuming these two are having goes south, she's going to come after him hard for child support. Yes, she is. And we all know that she, you know, likes to be out here in these streets. She ain't trying to sit at home and be no stay at home mom either. So. Once again, you have another child that's coming into the world that Drea is not going to have much to do with. I mean, look at her track record. Now, I'm not just making up anything. I mean, you can go look up Drea and, and her situation with her other children, and they're saying that she's barely there. So, again, we have a child growing up in a confusing situation because the mother is damn near 40. Jalen Green is 22. He's an NBA player. He's not going to have time to be you know, a fully involved father doesn't mean he's not. I mean, I believe he's going to try, but this is why we speak about these things. We speak about these things because we know that these athletes are getting caught up with women like Drea. Drea knows better. Drea is 39 years old. In any other situation, she would not be dating younger men because you look at her dating track record. She's always dated men who are close to her age. Why did it change now? You know why it changed is because, you know, a lot of those, you know, pro athletes or inter male entertainers who are her age, they've, I, they probably either have dealt with her before or don't want to deal with her. So now she has to go and get with one of these young NBA players that don't know any better. You know, they probably been, been a fan of hers for years and now they have an opportunity to sleep with her and date her. And these guys are going to, they're going to follow through, unfortunately. And, and it's a shame because a lot of these guys, they don't have to go this route. But they go this route because, again, they have money and time on their hands. And they only seek to uh, deal with women on social media. They need to take it off social media. I mean, go meet women out here in real life, okay? Uh, you know, I thought they claimed that, you know, men online you know, didn't have game. You know, these guys who are incels, they can't talk to women. Well, I've never seen so much incel behavior from rich, successful professional athletes in my life. Because all they do is chase behind women off Instagram. Women with BBLs and fake, you know, breast implants. That's who they're going after, right? Women rearranging their faces via surgeries those are the women they're going after and also you have these ex video vixens who've been around the block a few times these guys are linking up with these women it is it is a situation where um it's it's becoming worse and worse for these guys because these guys are looking very very extra thirsty now i'm going to play this clip and you can hear it from Jalen green yourself Break. You have been explosive. What is motivating you? Um, my family, my family, um, my baby. So yeah. You're the best, Jalen. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And that was after a game, and he's getting destroyed all over. So I, this was the first meme I saw. 
as soon as I, I I saw this this video, that was the first meme I saw. Listen, man, he's a, again he's an adult. Uh, he can do whatever he wants to do, but he has to be very careful. He really should be, because women like Drea uh, Drea can be very predatorial when it comes to these younger professional athletes. These women know how to deal with men. They know what to say to them. They know what to do with them in the bedroom. And these young guys, man, they're not used to that. When they get around in what Charlemagne the God, you know, would call vintage V, they don't know how to they don't know how to deal with that. And they become whipped. And they become whipped to the point to where they get into relationships with with 39-year-old women, single mothers, right? Women that have been all throughout the industry, they don't care. Because this is their opportunity. And then you get her pregnant. Where you know, this is this is one of the situations where we need OGs. You know what I'm saying? But it's too bad too many of the OGs are trying to compete with these young guys, right? When we saw these two together like this, and I and I want y'all to understand something. And this is why I say Drea Mike can be kind of sneaky. She Earlier that year, she was at a basketball game with uh, Tyrod Taylor. I think this picture was earlier in the year that I seen it. I thought they were still together. Only for a couple of months later, right in the middle of the summer, she's walking out casually with Jalen Green. <laughs> So she was already making her her moves, man. Already making her moves to set herself up for life financially. And people got to understand, like, her first baby father, I don't think he's famous. But she now has two babies' fathers who played sports. You had Orlando Skandrick, and also you have now Jalen Green. I, I would not be shocked that Drea has another child. I have nothing against younger men dating older women as long as you know what type of relationship you're going to have. As long as you believe you're going to be with this person long term, which can be difficult depending on the ages uh, and where you are in life, and not having a child in a confusing situation where you don't know whether both of them are actually together with each other. They could just be in a casual relationship. They could be friends with benefits. They're not, they don't even be around each other in public. It's a little bit different um, than what we've seen in other situations, right? Y'all know I've talked about, y'all know I've talked about Trevon Diggs and Joy Chavis, right? And I've talked about how they're not, I mean, they're together, right? But they've kept their relationship low key, but they have been public with each other. So it's a little bit different because they've been around each other in public. We've only seen Jalen Green and Drea around each other once. You've only seen them together with each other once. And the, and the really weird thing was that Drea herself posted an Instagram story where it looks like she was holding the hand of some older Caucasian man. I don't know if any of y'all saw that, that post. That was, might have been, what, a couple of weeks before she announced the pregnancy? So I'm confused. Like, are you date? Are y'all dating other people and bringing another child into a broken home? Because that's what it looks like. And, and again, you know, uh, if you're going to date older women, Jalen, don't get them pregnant because you do not know how that, you know, you don't know how that relationship is going to fall out. You know, this woman has been all over the industry. She dealt with all types of industry, man. She quietly left Tyrod Taylor and got with you. So we know how she maneuvers out here. She's posting Instagram stories of her holding the hand of some guy. I don't believe that was Jalen Green's hand. I, you know, didn't look, didn't look like it to me. So she moves kind of different out here. And I would hope that Jalen 
would have been smart enough to not get this woman pregnant, but now he has. And we still, we don't even know if they're in a relationship together. But he's dedicating himself and his career to his family, to his child, and yes, to Drea. He has her name tattooed on him. That's not a good sign. With a woman that he's been dealing with for what, maybe less than a year? A woman who has been all over the industry. And I've spoken about those instances on my uh, basic social politics channel. I put up some clips of uh, people having some things to say about her. Like Gilbert Arenas talking about how, you know, he was hooking. Uh, but, well, he, he alluded. Um, it was actually uh, someone else. It was Nick Young that alluded to Gil Gilbert Arenas linking up with her in the back seat of the car. Right. Ultimately, man, these young men got to understand that these women are looking for bags. They're not looking for love. She's not. Drea's not looking for love. You may think she is, Jalen, but she isn't, bro. She can. She'll probably leave you like she's left all these other men that she's been in love with. And, you know, leave you with that tattoo on your stomach. I don't know, man. But uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Let me thoughts like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, X, Instagram, and I'll see y'all next one.